Okay. Ladies, what is the deal? You know, I was looking at the, uh, just the percentage of viewers I had, male to female, and I noticed that I had about 90% male viewers, about 10% female viewers. And, um, at least on the prepping videos and uh, economic videos, stuff like that. Um, on the 22, from, you know, self-defense ones and firearms, and most of the 22 is anywhere from 22 to 25 percent female. But all the rest, prepper, metal, food, stuff like that, 10 percent female. So let's do some math here. Basically. You've got about 320 million people in the U.S. Or 321, you know, just round up, 322. Right, round up a little bit. And about 3 million, an estimated, about 3 million are preppers. So, I would estimate that um, if 90% of my viewers are male, then possibly, most likely, you know, interested in prepping videos, and possibly very close to 90% of preppers would be male. If 90% of my viewers are male watching these videos, right? Now, I don't have any videos, probably women will watch more, like, uh, you know, I don't know, doing nails or hairstylist. I don't know, I'd imagine it'd be the opposite. But I don't know. But you would infer that, well, if 90% of a gender is watching certain types of videos, well, then 90% of them are, you know, doing that. Anyway, so the same thing. That would mean that you got about 300 million preppers. And that means roughly 2,700,000 would be men. Which would mean that there's probably something like 300,000 women out there. Probably just just north of that. But about 322 million people in the US. And out of that 300,000 women probably prepping so here's the problem, you know, that's a lot of women that are, if something was to happen, they're going to be relying on somebody else. Now granted that 90% uh, of the male preppers probably, or not 90%, but let's say maybe half, half of the male preppers are probably married, right? So the wife, either she's helping him, and if she's not helping him, then she's probably, you know, going to benefit from, or she's going to benefit from his preps anyway. But that means probably women out there doing this on their own, or their husbands tagging along. Well, 300,000 is not that much. That means there's going to be a lot of women relying on men for the generosity of strangers. And women should really be more independent, more self-sufficient, right? Especially, if, let's say you're a single mom and you have kids depending on you. If you look at what happens during a natural disaster, well, you know, what if something like that was to happen now? Big old blizzard, a flood? I mean, that can happen now. It didn't have to be a total SHTF. Right? I know times are tough, but I'd imagine anybody can put just a little bit aside. You know, a bag of beans, a little bit of rice, you know, canned goods, an extra can here and there. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, I was disappointed when I saw that. I was hoping I knew it'd be more. I, I guess I, I just had a feeling to be more male, but I didn't think that much of a majority. 
So come on, ladies, you got to get on board. You know, if something bad was to happen, you need to be able to take care of yourself. I'm, I'm a strong advocate of the Second Amendment. I think women should carry, especially women, to defend themselves. But, you know, there's different types of, of protecting and defending yourself. Firearms from some, you know, big thug, rapist or something. You know, somebody's going to, you know, just looking out to harm you. Or just Mother Nature or the elements or unforeseen factors. They could also harm you. There's many reasons. I mean, you know, you look at the swine flu, people were panicking over that. Me, I knew that wasn't a big deal. It was, from what I understand, the same strand as the uh, Spanish flu, which, you know, I, my grandparents had, like most people's grandparents had. So we have the antibodies. I wouldn't worry about that, but people panic, man. But if it was a different strand or something, Look at Mexico, which I'm in Texas, but Mexico, there was a lot of fatalities. Why? Because, you know, a lot of people back then, you know, living in rural areas, they didn't get exposed, so they didn't get the antibodies to pass down. That's why it was more deadly over there, but, uh, or at least I would conclude. But anyway, you never know. What if something like that was to happen? <clears throat> Apart from the economic collapse that I see coming, or a natural disaster, you know. Who knows what? But anyway, ladies really need to, to, to get on board here and just have a little bit of side. I'll be pleasantly surprised if I see an increase of uh, female viewers. But uh, like I said, it's just simply you need to be a little more self-reliant and, and just prepare for such a disaster there just in case. Because you don't want to rely on the generosity of some stranger. I wouldn't. Anyway, ladies, um, just something to think about, you know, especially if you have kids out there. If you're interested in any of this stuff that, that you see on the internet, you know, start slow. A couple cans of food, a little bit of bottled water, um, stuff like that. Start small, but have something. Something's better than nothing. Right? Anyway, ladies, just something to think about.